Come on, we can't miss out on this. Speaking of missing out, have y'all noticed Leah at anything lately? She's sitting over there eating lunch by herself. If you call that eating, she's barely touched her food. Seriously, she seemed kind of down lately. I'm gonna go over and talk with her. It's cool if I invite her casino night, right? Yes, of course. Go make it happen, Captain. Identifying someone in need. How do we know when it's something more? One, extended periods of sadness. This is feeling sad for days at a time. Two, lack of interest. Avoiding social interactions can be a sign of depression. Three, lack of focus. Missing assignments or avoiding class. Sometimes depression can make even regular tasks seem overwhelming. Four, avoiding help. Those experiencing depression are often concerned how they're being perceived by others. They may feel like they're a burden on friends and family. Five, aches and pains. Unlike your usual body aches after exercise, someone with depression will experience aches and pains for days at a time. Six, not getting out of bed. We all like to sleep in from time to time, sure, but with chronic depression, you may feel like you don't want to face the world. Staying in bed for an extended period of time? Well, that's a warning sign. Seven, insomnia is also a sign of depression. The inability to go to sleep or stay asleep, especially for an extended period of time, that's something to look out for.